full-time moms, part-time monster truck drivers. You heard me. In the hyper-masculine world of giant trucks, a small group of women are bashing and crashing their way to the top. But how do they balance that rough-and-tumble world with the pressures of family life? ABC's Tanya Rivero went to see for herself. No minivans here. These fierce and fearless women prefer monster trucks. And you get up in the morning like, oh, I love going to work, you know? I love going to see the kids and driving a truck and crushing stuff. <laughs> There's a new breed of driver in this macho world, and she's a mom. Meet Michelle Simpson and Nancy Weston, going up against the guys, all while balancing the demands of family life. A lot of working moms, though, would look at you and say, Crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> But for Nancy, monster trucks are family. The Westons are on the road weeks at a time, and her two sons, ages seven and nine, are also drivers. Her lawyer husband keeps things running behind the scenes. We have a family motorsport company. We call it Uncle Todd Motorsports. My husband and I, you know, travel around the United States. But the nice thing is that you get to do something with your family. You're, this doesn't take you away from your family. This is so family tight knit operation. And when we're back home, not monster driving, monster truck racing, we have a family business at our at our office. Fancy Nancy is a big star here. Her pink monster truck, a huge draw for a new breed of fan. Well, my truck would definitely be hot pink with sparkles. <laughs> Sponsorships are essential to keep the operation running. The Westons own several trucks, and at a quarter a million a pop, plus constant maintenance, make sure I'm tight. Costs are high, and the competition is fierce. But both Nancy and Michelle insist they feel totally accepted by the male drivers. If you ever feel any resentment from the guys when a woman takes away the trophy, mm, you know, I bet he got teased by the men yeah. back in the pits. Both women have family in the sport. Michelle's husband is also a driver. And while the men say they have no problem competing with the women, losing to them is another matter. Absolutely nobody wants to get beat by the girl. Nobody. She has taken out some big name trucks. They do not like that. Since women are still quite rare, they are a novelty draw, which, after all, is good for business. A fact not lost on the promoters or Michelle's boss. She is awesome, man. When she got done out there the other night, I told my other drivers, I said, I need three more just like her. You know, she's, she's 90 pounds, a wild woman is what she is. These days, the real audience for monster trucks isn't the big, burly gearheads, though there are still plenty of those. It's families. Without the kids, monster trucks would have been done a long time ago. You know, it's all about family for us. Like Nancy, I'm a mom to two boys, so to save face, I had to give one a spin. Doesn't this get hot? I donned the fireproof suit. The tire is as tall as I am. And climbed into Bigfoot. This is like an amusement park ride here. <laughs> These things can and do flip over, so safety is taken very seriously. And to me, the scariest part is being strapped in so tight I can't move my head, neck, or torso. Limiting my field of vision, this is not for the claustrophobic. Let me know when your lap belt starts getting it's, uncomfortable. It's, it's already uncomfortable. But once you get going, there is no denying the thrill. And for the record, I would have crushed these cars, but my producers wouldn't let me. Still, I can see why the ladies like it. I felt like I was coming the road. Your heart's still pumping. I get a little shaky out because my adrenaline rush is still going. I'm like, oh, let's do it again. I want to go back out. You get addicted you know? to the adrenaline You do. Right? And they are paving the way for the next generation. Meet 14-year-old rising star Cassie Berry, a.k.a. Demolition Diva. My dad has a pro mud car. I've been around that since I was real little. Cassie drives freestyle with Nancy's boys. With the boys, it makes you step it up a notch and get yourself going so you can show yourself on what you can do and then show everybody else. And looks up to Nancy for the blueprint, not just for a career, how to get the right endorsements and make a living in this rough and tumble world. <laughs> but also how to have a life. So whether she ends up driving a monster truck or a carpool or both, she'll be crushing it. I'm Tanya Rivero for Nightline in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania.